Wars celebration is beginning with this presentation of Star Wars The Force Awakens, which I know you guys have been waiting to hear about for a long, long time. But it's not just this room. It's not just the folks who are waiting all night to get in here. This is being live streamed. Let's hear it for those people. The diehards. But it's not just here in Anaheim. It is around the world. This is an unprecedented live streaming event. It is in 23 countries. We have people in theaters around the world. It's, it's live streaming in China which is also extremely rare. And this is the 10th, the 10th celebration. But let's bring out two people who are opening that window again for us. Please welcome the director of The Force Awakens, also the co-writer and the producer, J.J. Abrams. The producer. as well as the producer of The Force Awakens and the president of Lucasfilm, the person who's creating a whole new series of films, Kathy Kennedy. How many out there waited all night long? Those words hit the screen with that incredible music and it was that moment on that just transported me. Um, it was the first time a, a movie made me laugh that way and made me believe in another world that way. And it was really George Lucas's brilliance, not only creating these incredible characters and this amazing universe, but also that it, it, it had such heart. And the biggest thing for me is it had such hope. And that to me was incredibly powerful, even 11 years old. I have to say that when George asked me to have lunch with him and it was almost three years to the day that I sat down with George in a small little restaurant in New York and he said I'm retiring and I'm thinking about moving on and I'd like somebody to come in and carry on this legacy and I thought he was going to ask me recommendations on who might do that and I said, who are you thinking about? And he said, well, I was thinking about you. And uh, needless to say, <laughs> Ind Indulge me a minute. For the, for the folks in the creature shop, not just applause and cheering, could, we, could everybody make their best Wookiee roar for those guys right now? I want to hear thousands. That's cool, thank you. Close to a Bruce Springsteen concert. <laughs> the incredible thing was when I was literally leaving Essen and going back to London where we were prepping the movie and I turned to our creature shop and I said, you know, I think we've got to hire those guys at a celebration. Let's track down who they were. And we hired Oliver and Lee. Would you like to meet the droid mechanics? Let's bring out Lee Towersy and Oliver Steeples, and friend. So Lee and Oliver, you were, you were once guys out there in the audience, now you're up here on the stage. You are fans who have uh, now contributed to the Star Wars universe. Yeah, give people a little sense of what that feels like. Um, there's absolutely nothing that prepares it, like, to, to sit here. Um, several years ago, I was out there, sort of watching the stage, and here I am. It's like, how do you put that into words? And you're... It was awesome. It was cool. Please welcome BB-8. <laughs> I will tell you that we uh, could not have ended up with three more uh, talented and wonderful actors and people. Uh, we have Oscar Isaac, we have Daisy Ridley, and John Boyega. Um, 
what, what can you tell us about the characters they play? Ray, uh, Finn, well, I, I'll Poe tell Dameron. you, um, bef- I think rather than me tell anything about them, I think they should. We should, we should bring them out. <laughs> Let's bring them out. Please welcome Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, and Oscar Isaac.